The first day of school, I was so nervous and my first period didn't go very well and I hadn't really seen any of my friends yet. And I went into math class, to Mrs. Beam's class, and she was just so happy and I didn't even know how someone could be excited about math. She was very welcoming. She always said, come in at lunch if you need help. I'm always here, come in. I had that extra period because I didn't test and she always said, come in and we'll sit down and we'll go through the exact problems you need help with. I'm there for you. What, like To the whole class, she'd always be like, don't be afraid because I'm here and I want to help. Every day was like that, no matter what. It helped me a lot. It kind of showed that I could have a teacher that could at the same time be a really great teacher, but also be a person that was there for me and could, um, could realize that a subject was hard and not force it like, <laughs> into my brain, like help me understand it at the pace that I needed and realize that I could hate it, but still want to teach it to me. Hello. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi, Quinn. <laughs> I mean, she's like the dream student, right? I mean, she comes to class, she's prepared, she's happy, she pays attention, she does her homework, she asks questions. I mean, that's a dream student for a teacher. I don't feel like I did the work, I feel like she did the work. You were always there, always ready to help. Like, I remember I asked so many questions all the time, I would raise my hand, always, and you'd always answer with a smile on your face. I don't know how you do it because I would get annoyed oh. with myself. And um, you were just always, oh my gosh, <laughs> you were just um, always excited about teaching and that just helped me so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I always, always, always say smart kids ask questions, smart kids ask questions. So wherever you felt that confidence to keep asking questions, like keep that going. I always feel like school should be the safest place to make a mistake. And I feel like homework should be a really safe place to make a mistake. Now a test, maybe not so much. Yeah. <laughs> but like that's where we should make mistakes. I wanted to thank you because you gave me confidence that I didn't have because I was always so scared. You made it fun and even if it came hard, you, you realized that and you powered through that and you told us that it can be hard for you, it can, and I will help you through that. I try to be passionate every day. I try to make it interesting and I just try to make it fun. There's so many things in education that you leave kind of feeling down, but this is why you just keep going, right? Things like this or those, those moments when kids have that aha moment, aha moment, that's when you want to keep going and keep trying and keep being positive. Teachers have to be there for students because if they're not, all the pressure goes on the student and it makes it so hard. Supporting bright futures is what the Lake Oswego Schools Foundation is all about. Please make a generous donation at LOSFoundation.org. I should have gotten these questions before. You did. I know. I prepared myself. <laughs>